Today we're making a cocktail submitted by Kevin called Cannon's Mist. Ooh. Ooh. Guten Tag. Willkommen zu Oktober. Use coupon code OCTOBER14 and save 15% on everything at awesomedrinks.com. Und jetzt? Put down your party poppers, but very gently so they don't explode. Today we're making a cocktail called the, pa the Pannon's Mist. The Cannon's Mist. Mist. It's Holy it's alliteration, Batman. Submitted by Kevin, not my dog. You all right? No, thank God. Mm -hmm. Probably we're, tastes no. like kibble. That's true. We're going to mix this. This is a... That's a mixable this is drink a here. Stirring drink. Stirring. That's so what we got. Mixing. Two ounces of rum chata. Two. An ounce of black spiced rum. We're using Kraken. An ounce of Kahlua. Oh. Half ounce Fireball. Yeah. Because Fireball makes everything cool now in the 2010 really era. It's really popular. It's super popular. Everybody, again, this week at the bar, somebody brought over a round of Fireball shots. Oh, yeah. And everybody's always, you know what it is? Like all fireball. the guys are like, I like Fireball. Too. Fireball's so over it. Fireball, blah, blah, blah. And then they bring over the shots like, yeah. Shots. I'm like, okay, so what just happened right there? It's overrated, but it's still good, basically. Yeah, I don't get it. It can so. be, it can be overrated and good. It I just... like how it tastes exactly like fireballs. Yeah, like... I just like how it tastes. I think they're onto something here. You think they should uh, leverage that marketing wise, or yeah. what, like how things maybe. taste? Leverage the fireball thing. Leverage it. Leveraged. Lowball glass with ice. You're gonna throw it in here, and it's gonna probably taste like super awesome. Yeah, it's got rum chata. Uh, you're gonna get a little carrot cake action out of this, but the cinnamon should offset that. Hmm. It that's will clean. add to the carrot cake. Mm, I don't really. I love that's carrot cake. True. The best part of carrot cake is that frosting. Mm. As long as I don't have the, I don't like the nuts frosting. on it. Yeah. I don't like my, I don't like nuts on my frosting though. <laughs> that's what you say, but you, you say, don't mean do it. Do we uh, put ice in here? Oh, yeah. Usually. It does make it a little bit easier to stir when there's something to chill it out. We good? Yeah, that's good. You sure? Yeah. It looks like cute. coffee. It does. It looks like uh, a lot like Bailey's at yeah, this point. Nothing. Well, you know what? I would expect it to taste like Bailey's now. We, uh, a couple days ago, there was a question of the day. What's a drink that you would expect to taste yeah. like something and doesn't? Yeah. This, I'm guessing, doesn't taste like Bailey's, but or I would mudslide? expect it to. Yeah. Or, or a mudslide? Or a mudslide, yeah. Sobrero, oh. maybe a Caucasian Gary. White Russian. Hey, Gary. You want a fun fact? Big Lebowski thing. Fun facts. I love fun facts. Give me a fun fact right now. Ah, it better be fun. Right. Uh, I better be whether, funny. Whether it's a fact or not, I better be I'm fun. Not, I'm not having fun with it. It's not a fun fact. Try it. Speaking the of fun scrolling facts. Scrolling is even worse than it was. Before. You work on your fun fact. All right. I'm gonna tell you about Fan Appreciation Month. Because I'm gonna grab, the strainer. grab your strainer. Fan Appreciation Month. All of November, we're gonna be appreciating the fans. If you want to uh, want us to make you a cocktail. And you want your name and all the credit, and, and, and we can pimp your show or whatever you do. I just had it. You okay, can um, submit. You want to send us a donation for $30. You can either use a little eye up in the corner because we have fan funding enabled. You can send it to everydaydrinkers.com slash donate where you can fill up the little donation button. And we will make your cocktail. We will pimp your show, your blog, whatever it is you do. If you just want to do it to be kind and all that. Fine, we can do that too. Make sure you email dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com and let me know. And it's, by the way, it's in the title of the bottom of this what um a story about how you found us why you found us how we've changed your life anything else you want to write so you have a dog named gary joe in the chat room Go on, says Kevin. i am a marine retired now thank you for serving november 10th is the marine corps birthday fact one month away november 10th from our filming date. so now you can do something since you want to do an appreciation i could on do november it on 10th, november 10th because it's still fan appreciation mm -hmm. month and those are fans of the military. You could do an entire week of military, military, fan appreciation. military fans yeah. for Fan Appreciation Month. But I'm getting to my fact. Oh, it's coming. I, was, I thought that was a fact, because <laughs> that was facts to me. I don't it, know. That is a fact, but he's got another fact here. Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Benjamin Beer? Franklin said in... Okay, in she's <laughs> Tun Tavern, Philadelphia, which is the birthplace of the Marine Corps. Interesting. So the Marine Corps is birthed in the same place as somebody said something good about beer? Ben Franklin, Franklin, Franklin said good Not about just beer. somebody. Yeah. Well, mm. He was somebody. He was a smart somebody. This right. is good. It's definitely got that rum chata to it. Yeah, Jennifer, I kind of like it then. Uh, it tastes like blended carrot cake mm. and cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon topping. There's nothing not to like about this. It's a, It's a kind of spicy. It not spicy, like hot, like burny. Yeah. <laughs> burny? And burny. spicy, it's got like... Weekend at? No. No. Oh. Not that guy. Uh, no, it's got like a, it got a lot of alcohol, which, mm. you know, 
ironically, you don't get that from the rum shot by itself so much. So it's no, nice. but I, you get it from you do get it from an Irish cream. Mm. So you get that same heat level from an Irish cream. Yet you're this is not your this isn't your mother's Irish cream. No, this is like a manly cream. Right. <laughs> well, manly. Irish. <laughs> I'm feeling Strike that. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Off the record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not gay. Not um, gay at all. So, let me just. Ah! <laughs> and here I was gonna say, let me just drink on top of your your drink spot. Let's share lip marks. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually funnier than what I was trying to say. All right. Um, you can lick it if you want. No. Okay. Um. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the extra noise. <laughs> um, that if I had never had rum shada before, mm -hmm. I would assume that some Irish cream based drink with some crazy right. ingredient. Yeah, would it turn out to be rum shada or horchata? Could have been a horchata with with uh, Irish cream. Horchata con rum. So Want a question yeah. of the day? It's horchata with rum. In yeah, it. let's go for a question of the day. I love. What's horchata. your best jackass type <laughs> of gag you have ever seen, be it on TV or with your own eyes? Jackass gag on TV or with your mm. own eyes? Now, those are two separate things. I've I don't seen watch them. Jackass, so I don't know. No, but when you watch Tosh Point oh, and that's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's just not them doing. It's not. No, Tosh it's just Point something though. stupid. Yeah, he just but found he it. just finds stupid videos. It's not really gags. Well, that gag where that guy, they remember the one where they were jumping from... Well, the dick of the week from, is usually a gag. Yeah, but... The, you know, I'm childish. I like the chair pulling out when somebody's sitting down. That's just good old classic fun. Really? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? No, I hate it when people do that. Oh, but it's fun to see it happen to somebody. <laughs> it's not even like you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unless and we wouldn't, I, wouldn't do, I wouldn't do it to you. There's too many liquor bottles to break behind oh, you. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> and the whole concussion thing. Could do it to Jim. Though. Your broken yeah, tailbone. Okay. Then I'll uh, cry and you'll feel bad. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, 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 what about um? I was thinking about it this week, but I didn't do this because it's so childish. But we were playing pool at a pool hall where you play pool. And did you ever, you know, the little pool cube? Yeah, yeah. And if you ever tell somebody it smells like blueberries? Oh yeah, yeah. Get and on you their pop nose. and you get right on their nose. Yeah. Or uh, along the same vein as playing pool, you just pop somebody in the nuts when they're waiting to take a shot, or on, you take their stick and you whack their stick. Oh yeah, or just, or, yeah, or, yeah, or, or you them. grab it right when they're when they're going for yeah. it and it doesn't move. Yeah, yeah. And then one guy was telling me, and oh, and we were playing cornhole. Right, and I somebody decided is while that I was a gay walking away. No, it's the game with the bean bag for corn in it. Right, <laughs> for those who don't. <laughs> really heavy, like real cornhole bags. Yeah, yeah. Somebody just freaking threw it straight at my back while I was walking away. <laughs> Boom! That hurts like hell when it's it like, hits you. It's like, it there, even turns your back numb. Cause there, there's a reason they have bean bag guns. As oh, no. yeah. Yeah. It's, I can see how that would be one real of those. bad. I like those. It's mm. not good at all. And then hey, it, keep, keep them under control. Yeah, yeah. Better my kids. <laughs> so and then after that, <laughs> they're quick. You can't always catch them, but you can always shoot them. Right. Somebody had said, "Oh, when I at his other job, his boss thought it'd be funny. He threw a dart at him when he was walking away. What? Yeah. Poof, you know, like starts bleeding. My cousin everywhere. shot me in the ass with a BB gun. I've been hit with BB guns in the ass. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Well, so it doesn't. Did your, well, mine was a very good gun, so it didn't. I didn't break, break my the skin. skin. I was okay. It hurts a little bit. Hmm. Well, what we were doing is we were using slingshots, and I was shoot, we were having a BB gun war. Kids. Things you do when you're kids. <laughs> right. Don't do this. And, and then but you're we, surprised when... We didn't have enough BB guns, but Don, he's been on the show before, had a kind of a professional slingshot. I had one of those, yeah. And he also had, at the time, I remember this, now that they, but he always had this... No, he had a big ball, like a like a uh, M&M &M jar, right? So I would just grab handfuls of M&Ms and pull it all the way back, and it would sh it would leave red welts. But the M&M would shatter, yeah. Yeah, and the M&M would shatter, but it left welts. Yeah, yeah. And I think it hurt more than some of the BB guns because they didn't have a lot of power down. Yeah. So they were running, a one of the kids was running across the pool on, on the, like they had like a, a wall so you can run across the metal part. I think you're not supposed to run car across on the yeah. on a above ground pool. Yes, that thing. He's running across, I, I lied a little bit. Boom, fired him and right in the back of the leg, fell right in the pool, so he then That's decided awesome. to chase me. So while I was filling up my, my M&Ms in the, in the kitchen, he came in with the gun. I just felt boom right on the ass. Boom! <laughs> it went off. Oh! So I got you back. <laughs> I chased him around with like a handful of these things That's shooting awesome. them. It was a good time. That's good old-fashioned fun. Things. Second question today. What's the shakiest falls along the jackass thing? This might be ours. We used to jump off roofs into snow piles when we were kids. We, we and then they pack. Oh, you were in Maine. Yeah. Then they, oh, get, they get hard. They get hard. Oh. Yeah. Um, Remember John in, in college when he decided he was going to shoulder block the uh, snowman when he was drunk and the snowman had turned to ice? Because <laughs> you were there for that? <laughs> I don't know. It was outside of hallway. That he, sounds familiar. Though. It was a snowman built outside of hallway, but he it had also, been there a couple nights. He also decided to take a shot from a flaming shot glass at some point. Oh, yeah, and yeah. burned all his. He's supposed yeah. to blow those out, people. Zippo yeah. over the light, over the right. trash barrel. And then, yeah. he, and then he lit, yeah, lit the trash barrel on fire with Zippo. <laughs> oh, but and then he side checked that 
<laughs> this is hilarious because he came running at it like full bore. He was a big dude. Yeah. Smash into it and fell straight to the ground. <laughs> Did not move the snowman. Just, he was drunk. We're all drunk. B bad decisions are made when you're drinking. Did you know uh, or when Matt, you're a kid. Matt Meyer? He was one of my roommates yeah. my last year. You remember I him? Know he was a graphic designer. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what yeah. I know. Yeah. He would, uh, we'd be out on the quad Facebook on like a Wait. fresh snow with like deep snow. Matt Meyer was still in college when you were. Yeah, he stayed five years, too. <laughs> it, we, we both started the same year and ended the same year. Um, he would go in the quad on a fresh snow, and he'd just run and dive. And there'd be, like, this much snow, so he'd, like, under. disappear. And then he'd pop up, like, 20 feet <laughs> over, which is awesome, because he'd just slide under oh, the snow. Oh, it's all powder. And yeah, it's all powder, ice, yeah. You hope. Yeah. <laughs> ice or stone. There's a lot of bad things you could do. When you look back and do stuff, yeah. you do stupid things, you realize there was so much margin for failure. The, the image of somebody watching that, though, it was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're watching. I recognize that it could have hurt, yeah. and it was probably painful to yeah, him. It could have broken his uh. neck or something about the But he did it. Play. But he did it. <laughs> what, what stupid things did you do as a kid that could have killed you, but didn't? And the most important thing is it looked cool. Yeah, it has to be awesome. Yeah. Right. So good question of the day. Good stories. Good drink. Do it. Uh, awesome awesome drinks. drinks. That's a uh, wide old fashioned glass. We don't. Oh, there's Doug's response to your picture of your tongue sticking out. And uh, what else you got? You got easy step jiggers. You got the stirring mixer. spoons. The mixer. mixer. That's, that thing's cool. It's a Yari Mason glass. It's fairly expensive. Haven't sold any yet, but if you um, are it into them, really it's it's got the uh, the logo on it, and it's got the Yari design, which is the cross hatch. Mm -hmm. uh, Curtis really liked him. I didn't know if he was gonna like him because he's getting grumpy. Cool. <laughs> but uh, he, he was a big fan of it, so I was, I was pretty actually happy for that for whatever reason. It's always nice if you take somebody who's grumpy and they go, oh, that's cool, and you're like, are you better now? <laughs> what happened? Did that turn everything around now? Are you having a much better day now? Life happy now? is yeah. now awesome for you because of that. Uh, and therefore your life's easier. Right. So we talked about Fan Appreciation Month, so that's already done. Now all we have to do is say uh, donate to the show, everydaydrinkers.com slash donate, or cmc. No. Patreon.com slash cmc. That's the one. And now, we can leave. Yeah. And we can make another drink. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>